I noticed the sign behind me that said that the pavement ends in a thousand feet. But the future of South Texas takes off right behind me. And that's what today is really all about. As I look across this audience, I can't help but see uh, the senator and the representative who for 30 years we've worked together. Uh, and over the course of the last 13 plus years, almost 14 years, we have looked for major projects of which we can make a really big impact on South Texas. Having come here in the early 1990s on a regular basis as the Agriculture Commissioner and working with the men and women uh, of, of this region, Carlos, we are now seeing the fruits of those labors. When you think about this project and what it means for the state of Texas and for the nation and frankly for the world, then we start to see just how important Texas and the Rio Grande Valley is in that makeup. What's going on here today is just building upon the pioneer spirit. You, you mentioned the, uh, the, the, this was the frontier at one time, and it's the frontier again. And the pioneer heritage of this state and, and our tradition of thinking bigger, uh, dreaming bolder, daring to do the impossible. Elon, the impossible is after all just something a Texan hadn't tried to do yet. That's how we define impossible. The fact is just about 350 miles up the coast in Houston, Texas, the very heart of the race to the moon began. It started and Texas was at the epicenter of that, what I think is probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest adventure in humankind's history. Texas was the birthplace of astounding technologies, whether it was the uh, some of the work that TI did early in the in the 50s, whether it was the incubator of just some incredibly brilliant minds, and it still is. Francisco Cigarroa is here representing the University of Texas system, and the fertile minds that reside in that system and the gift that the state of Texas is making to this region with that university and with the medical school, uh, Eddie and Renee, that we both work together to create. The commitment to this area of the state, I think, is unparalleled in the history of this state because we've recognized together the potential of the people. And that's what today really is for me is the recognition of an amazing part of Texas that has worked hard and deservedly to be recognized. We will continue to make world-changing decisions and we'll take world-changing actions in this state. Matter of fact, I was just over at uh, your your sister university, as I like to refer to Texas A&M from time to time, uh, two institutions that compete against each other but work hand in glove to make this a more competitive state. Opening up an institution, um, the Center for Innovation in Advanced Development and Manufacturing. They're creating vaccines to fight pandemic events that happen in the world. What used to take nine months to change from one strain to another, now at that facility, they're being able to speed up the process to 45 days and to deliver millions of doses. When you think about a pandemic, Eddie, affecting a third world country, and to go from nine months to 45 days to be able to affect that, to protect people around the globe from terroristic threats, from viruses, whether they're bioterroristic viruses or otherwise. That's what's happening in the state of Texas. Elon, what you have done with your decision, and we thank you greatly. We thank you for having the vision to see that this is where you needed to be, you wanted to be. This is just another one of those signals to the rest of the world that this is a state 
that is making a difference and making a difference in a powerful way. And I just want to say to, to the representatives, Representative Davis, and for all of you who have worked so diligently to use the Emerging Technology Fund and the Enterprise Fund as a tool to make Texas be as competitive as it could be. Thank you for every session of the legislature taking a look at that. How do you make it more competitive? And saying yes, that Texas wanted to be involved and engaged in economic development. And it is paying extraordinary dividends for this state. I think there's, as a matter of fact, Francisco, I would just go ahead and make the announcement today that uh, in partnership with the great University of Texas in Brownsville, the Emerging Technology Fund will invest $4.4 million in the development of new technologies to be used at this spaceport and beyond. So when, when you take the matching funds that SpaceX, University of Texas System, the Greater Brownsville Innovation Corporation, more than $23 million will go to this project and will be part of the soon-to-be UT Rio Grande Valley. There is some, there is some young student in the sixth grade in an elementary school who never in his or her life thought that they would be part of the space program. But because of the vision of these men and women in this audience, they have the potential not just to change their lives, but to change the world that they live in. That's why I've been so proud to be a part of a state, of a community, and of an entity, the Texas legislature, over the course of the last 30 years, of men and women who were pioneers, who were not afraid to make decisions, who were not afraid to step out, and to Eddie and to Renee in particular, in that 30 years worth of work that we've done together. Thank you for being great partners in this project. God bless you, and through all of you, may God continue to bless the great state of Texas. Thank you.